Hey guys, it's that uh, Jay, and we are back, of course, on Oxen Free. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my mic because it seems to want to keep rubbing Alex. my lips. Alex. Anyhow, we are back, of course. Let's Alex, <sighs> are you okay? You all right? I thought you were. I think so. I don't know. God. I do really love this game, you guys. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren... Sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really... Jonas! What? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower is a working walkie-talkie or something. Telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from Wait, its dish, Jonas, seriously, like, for satellite what just reception, happened? and military airband for nearby aircraft. Opened. Something, and that something did something else. Office in a and that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, and so let's just skip to the part where Once we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. In 1988, it was redesignated Harden Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major... Major Dick Harden. And yes, the guy's name is Major Dick Harden. That's why they named it Harden Tower. I just wanted to cancel that before they said it, so... Yeah. Anyhow, guys, we seem to be doing all right. This is one of my more favorite games. Oh, I do want to make one big announcement, guys. Um, I will be doing a live stream Friday or Saturday around 4.30 or five o'clock so if you guys want to see my face you want to know what I look like um be there um also guys when I do my live stream I won't be live streaming um a game or anything I will be um doing a Q&A I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. Just some friends, huh? <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. It's locked, Jonas. I'm not playing here. No, I know. Just give me a second. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Apparently her and her new brother don't quite get along so well. They do, but they don't. But yeah, he's her new stepbrother, so... Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to like not hurt me on purpose or anything, but you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. Uh, 
SOS, Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I don't think so. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. <coughs> does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Of course not. Nada. Ah! Jesus! Communications tower? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> See, I told you guys. <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just... Why... How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went to join us? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like... Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And Jonas is with okay, you. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I, I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't, I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay, I just want to no, get No, just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah. I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but... Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Guys, there is a correct order to saving to you. your friends, we by the way. The um, you do, want, Ren, you do have to save Ren first. And see he has all the codes. They're your people. Then you go you save can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd Milner. kill me She'll if he knew we to you get to it. Sound but logic. Ren is in trouble, and you desperately need to get to him. Okay, and then you can see he's right here. It says, save Ren, and there's Ren. She's all the way over here, in the very tail end of this, whereas he's kind of in a lot of trouble being in the forest where he's at. So that's where we're going to go over here to is the relay point. Yes. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. To get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. Act as if. Okay, so hopefully there's not gonna be a talking partition on this. Because I really need to hear what's on this. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, 
In 1988, it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications Major officer Richard for eight Crow years. Dick Hardin. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower. Okay, so it's now going into the repetitive. All right, so now we've got that. Um, we'll lose that knowledge later. The entity puts us through a test, I guess. Gotta go through Epiphany Fields. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> Alright. So we are on to the next area. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I we guess. We need to go this way. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Go to Tui Grove. I didn't answer that question because at this point my character's not doing so well and you can kinda tell, so... We're gonna leave that one unanswered. Mm. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. It's What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy. That's not and outdoorsy. Then I'm outdoorsy. But I just want to make That's sure you know, all. that we know where we're going. Jeez. We do. Um, vaguely. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of... Whatever's happening right now. But, you know... No offense, but your town sounds like the worst place on Earth. Well, it's not like your town. I'll put it that way. Okay, so... I have a feeling that there's something over here. Where are we at? Okay, so we're over here in the Toby Woods. So we gotta go through the bridge stand campgrounds. Oh, jeez. She's closer, technically, because we got to go through all this, but at the same time, um, her storyline's a little bit odd. Now, here's another question. Why is it that they say the radio doesn't work? Why can we pick up these bizarre radio stations? Well, that, I think, is part of the entity. Because they say at the very beginning, That's another thing you'll notice, guys, is um, it is playing Looney Tunes music and episodes every once in a while. Bad time music. That's the demon talking. Thinking about a lot of things you remembered. Sometimes about what was ahead. The old James Cagney movie? Oh wow. <laughs> they put some weird stuff in this game, dude. I'm okay with it though. <laughs> Oh, poor Ren. Lost like crazy. Roosting tree. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. 
It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so... Not really. No. There was plenty of time for thinking. Thinking about a lot okay, there's that James Cagney movie again. That's the demon. frequently wander the woods oh, west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods... Okay, so now we've got the full information on that. See the bridge stand. There's a lot of neat stuff about Edwards Island on this game, guys, but it's, I'm not sure if it's true or fictional, so. <laughs> Although I do know Edward, Ed, the real Edwards Island actually is a nature preserve. Um, and I think it might actually be a military base that is, um, decommissioned. In real life. So that's, there's that for you. Um, there's also Edwards Air Force Base, but. This is Edwards Island they're talking about. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like okay, we need to go. like a normal bridge with wood and slats? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? Okay, so we need to it's go. It's like going up. on a gondola ride. I don't know if I'd say it's neat. It looks less than welcoming or at least it doesn't look very inviting look, it's a little scary but Ren needs us so yeah yeah i know i know all right well let's just Ren see if we gotta take the uh, conveyor thing that's been running here since so, the invention of ovens oh uh, okay power transfer station 167 okay that's a little strange why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Um, uh, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal? Or something? Alright. I'll go with that, just cause... What else am I gonna do? I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well in debt, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. I'm sure you'll be fine. All right. Um, well... Happening? Why'd the lights go out? I don't know. Is this even the right Here we thing? Go again. There's only one thing. It's Watch the only this. thing. If this doesn't work, there's nothing else. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. You guys see that right there? Ooh, there? That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Yeah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Even you're tired of a funhouse bullcrap. Holy goopy, man. I think Rando's up that way. Okay, so door opens magically this time. 
You don't actually need the bridge uh, fairy, I don't Was think. that there before? No, it wasn't. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not that funny. That was hilarious. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. Okay, so I think Ren is actually up this way, but I'm not sure if we can get across this side like this. So we're gonna take a look. I'm pretty certain we can save Ren this way. What in the world is that at the very tail edge there? Let's go take a look at this. Those look like stacked rocks. They are, there's endstones. Cool. Oh, it's a radio point. Yes, it's a radio point, that's right. It would have been better had it never been found. Tax six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. <laughs> Okay. Give me one moment, guys. I will be right back. Alright, so it looks like we can get across this way, so... There's another radio point. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-2... Okay, so now we know that one, guys. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. So we can't go that way, guys. But it was worth the adventure up that way to go check stuff out, huh? Well, of course. It is always worth it to explore and investigate in a game. So, here we go. What a night, huh? Yeah, tonight's not exactly what I expected. Um, what does that mean? You said, what a night, I was just... I'm just saying, this, this isn't anybody's... Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. Praise the Lord. That bridge fairy does not look safe at all, you guys. It's all wobbly. Man, my luck, it could throw me off. Anyhow, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, please remember, if you like my videos, to smash that thumb till it's blue. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified. Alright, guys, I love you. Bye!